Alright lads and lasses, welcome to our playthrough of Oblivion Overhaul. Now, bit of a catch up, I have a new sword. I bought a new sword in town. I did say at last episode I was going to go spend some gold. And I also bought uh, a better healing spell. Like a healing spell does twice as much healing. Which is nice. Um, I tried to find better gear, but I couldn't really find anything which gave me massive advantages. Um, so maybe we have to wait until a higher level. Um, as always, remember, um, leave your questions in the comment section if you want any kind of question answered. Now, I said that I'll get some quests started, so I did manage to murder someone uh, between episodes in a safe way that I wouldn't get a bounty. So, now all we have to do is sleep. Uh, wait, what? Why is this bitch in... Oh, she's asleep. <laughs> I thought she was invisible. Give me a bed, lav. So be it. Head upstairs and look for the lav. Boy. Have a fine journey and keep yourself safe. No, I will. You need this guy is actually from a dark brotherhood. Let's get to training. And he sells pretty much nothing useful. I, I I sold him some shit before. Uh, which one's my crib? Here we go. Is the music a bit too loud? I think it is. You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. That's good. You'll need a clear conscience for what I'm about to propose. Uh, who are you, mate? I am Lucian the Chance, a speaker for the Dark Brotherhood, and you. You are a killer, taker of life, a harvester of souls. Your work, your death craft, pleases the Night Mother. And so, I come to you with an offering. An opportunity to join our rather unique... Then heed my words, for I will not repeat them. On the green road to the north of Breville lies the Inn of Ill Omen. There you will find a man named... Rufio, kill him, and your initiation into the Dark Brotherhood will be complete. Do this, and the next time you sleep in a location I deem secure, I will reveal myself once it's a bit more. Creepy, don't bearing it? the love. Excellent. Now please accept this token from the Dark Brotherhood. It is a virgin blade. And thirsts now. Sound, um, is that sword gonna be any good to us? N no. So we, I always remember it being really crap until the end of the quest line. Now we're three minutes in, so I don't think there's much point of answering questions. I think I'll save uh, questions for another episode. Now we have to journey to the Inn of the Ill Omen. I guess it's our closest location, that cave. Oh my god, that that cave, man, that we just finished. Absolute nightmare. It was enjoyable, though. I think I'm gonna, like, pause until I get there. Now, I found, um, I found another inn, like, on the way. I thought that was quite interesting. Um, I think this is the place where you get Master Blade training. This guy here. What? what? Maybe I'm wrong. You. Oh, I thought she, thought she was dead then. Why is there so much food around? Don't do that. This new spell I've got is like... It costs so much mana, I really need to increase my intelligence. But yeah, I mean, he looks like... I mean, he's got a blade. I think that is the Master Blade Trainer, but you need a quest first. Um, we didn't find anything interesting on the way, by the way. Just a few wolves. I think there's a shrine here as well. It's good to get these shrines done. Um, before the, uh, Nights of Nine quest. That's quite a significant heal, though. I think it'd be better for us. In order to be, uh... Oh, I need to turn off... Oh, I forgot to turn that off, um, the fucking preview thing. I thought I moved it, 
so I, I can't see when buffs are on still. Let's have a look. Zena, Zena, fortified look. That's kind of useless. I can't remember what look actually does, apart from the arena stuff. Like it does something. It, it can be something to do with like power attacks, power attacks, or something like that. Have a chance to stagger or chance to find extra loot. I think. I know it actually does affect quite a few variables in the game. Right here we go. What, mate? We got plenty of rooms if you want one. Ain't nobody staying here these days except old Rufio. Like how how does he like live then? Like if he's not getting any business. I offer the finest goods and lowest no, prices don't. in all. Rufio, he's an old codger. Been living here for a couple of weeks now. If you ask me, he's hiding from something. But what do I care? His room is downstairs, in what I like to call the private quarter. Wonder why Rufio has to be killed. Like, what has he done? <laughs> That's a horrible name for an inn, I know. I just can't bring myself to change it. Besides, Boy. farewell and tell your friends. The it's killed his kudja. Oh, also, I think I also got. No, I didn't actually. I was tempted to get a better absorb health spell, but I thought it wouldn't be really worth it. May as well do a sneak attack. How is he detecting me? Nice. Should sleep in his bed. <laughs> That's cruel. Oh crap! Did I search that? No, no, nothing useful. Here we go. This creepy bloke. So the deed is done. How do I know this? You will find that the Dark Brotherhood knows a great many things. For you are now part. Of the family. Yeah, kiss ass line that in it. Now what? Now you embrace your faith. For the slaying of Rufio is the signing of a covenant. The manner of execution, your signature, Rufio's blood. As a speaker of the black hand, I directly oversee a particular group of family members. You will join that group. You must now go to the city of Shadenhall, to the abandoned house near the eastern wall, into the basement, and attempt to open the black door. You will be asked a question, answer thusly, Sanguine, my brother, will gain entrance to the sanctuary. Once inside, speak with Ochiva. We must now take our leave of each other, you and I. Well, there is much work to be done. I'll be following your progress. Welcome to the family. Um, let's, no let's find out more information. Every dark brother and sister is a child of Sithis. He whom we call Sithis has many other names. Chaos, Doom, Discord. We of the Dark Brotherhood serve the Night Mother, who is the bride of Sithis. The Night Mother rules her children with a terrible... The Black Hand is the ruling body of the Dark Brotherhood. It is made up of one listener and four speakers. Four fingers and a thumb, if you will. As a member of the Dark Brotherhood, you must abide by the five tenants. Let's uh, find out about this. How does one best describe our dread? Like, is it? You are now one with the dark Looks like invisibility doesn't work that well. At the and your new life. Can't remember who Sifis is, like, some kind of... Where's he walking to? I can't, I can't remember, like, I think I read or watched a video about him. Some kind of deity of some kind, I can't remember. Right, let's go to Shadenhall. We've got to travel quite far, actually. But I can somehow... What is this place? Why do I know it exists? 
Oh yeah, this is when I was um going. Yeah, this is where I I killed someone so I can get into the Dark Brotherhood. So now I've got to travel to Shaden Hall. Right, so we're finally in Shaden Hall, and this is the abandoned house. What, I have to pick myself in? Why didn't you give me a key, cheap bastard? Seriously, that guy is fucking creepy, like, he only appears to you when you're sleeping. Any loot? No, there's not going to be any loot. I'm not going to detect people through the wall. Nah. Just like I'm uh, looking at the art here, um, I think that's Sifist, uh, that must be the name of her. With children, like, is she like killing the children or some shit? Anyway, um, what is that as well? Looks like skin. Problem is like the Dark Brotherhood armor, it's light armor with stats that are not gonna help me at all. So that's kinda gay. Greetings, brother. Greetings. I am Oshiva, mistress of this sanctuary. Lucien has told me all you stand now in our sanctuary. May it serve as your new home. When you're ready for work, go and speak with Vicente Valtieri. He handle. But before you go, please accept this gift from your new family. Now, I've kept you long enough. Vicente is waiting. You'll find him in his quarters. Go now, my child, and may Sithis go with you. I mean, uh, you can't even sell it either, can you? Like, in Morrowind, you could sell it for, like, loads of money. Like, all these dark brotherhood assassins would randomly try and kill you when you get their armor. Uh, that happens also in Skyrim, but you don't get to have our armor, which is kind of gay. So, acrobatics and blade, but... I'm not... It's light armor. I can't even repair it, so... That's right, something I need to do. I need to improve my endurance as much as possible. Nice. Need... Why is it 69? I wonder why that is. Must be something to do with the mod. Maybe with minor skills, that should do increase. Is that? Oh yeah, it's because of the skeleton key. Is the restoration is quite low at the moment. I keep thinking these are my skills, and I'm like, what? It's kind of helpful how it displays a percentage. Anyway, looks like there are some differences with this mod. Like, I don't even know who this is. I think I do remember her, but she wasn't wearing this. So good to finally. I'll be seeing you then. And there's a there's a that Khajiit that really hates you. Well, he definitely looks different. Welcome. Well Later then. Pretty sure there's a secret way into this guy. There you go. Aha. Ah. Well, mate. Greetings to you. I trust you've already spoken with Ochiva. I am Vicente Valtier. Please do not let my appearance unnerve you. The needs and tenets of the dark now, if you're ready to get to work, I can... Is this a uh, pirate one? A contract is a secret pact one enters in. A contract is fulfilled by a skilled assassin such as yourself, who keeps the Dark Brotherhood's end. While carrying out a contract, you may have the opportunity to earn a bonus if certain parameters are met. I'm not sure how you feel about pirates, yeah, pirates. but you've got to kill one. A captain, in fact, on his... Sh Excellent. Here is what you must do. Go to the waterfront district of the Imperial Sea. Board the ship and find its captain, Gaston Toussaint. He'll be in his... The pirates have been moving a lot of cargo on board lately. You may be able to smuggle yourself on... Oh, and one more thing. Get into the habit of asking your fellow family members about any current contract. Um... Farewell, brother. Is it actually helpful to ask people about the contract? I can't remember. 
Where's the stairs? Oh, this guy hates you, doesn't he? Newest member of Bye, cities. I don't have all day. Right, now we're at the waterfront. This is where we kill the pirates. I managed to find some books and stuff in the Dab Brotherhood, and um, some of them gave me some skill ups as well, which is kind of useful. And yeah, they're worth quite a bit, of, uh, bit of money, so I'm going to sell them. I think this is the chest that we can go into. You believe you could effectively hide in this crate and then be transported to a pirate ship? Do you want to hide in the crate? I'll try to find your own way on board. Let's hide in the crate. This means you get to battle your way from the bottom of the uh, ship. Which means more XP. We don't particularly get any bonus, which is kind of shit. Guess the only bonus is killing more pirates. And maybe more loot. Let's have a look. Mm, yeah, what's my curry weight? I'll take some of this because it's. can make some money from it. Do a quick save there. Another chest. That's not bad, 14 gold. Don't know why I'm sneaking because I really cannot sneak. Whoops. Come on, I want a mob to kill. I can actually sleep. Is that a skill book? Nope. Here we go, here we go. Let's see how difficult these pirates are. Yeah, they are fucking nails. Oh my god, it's again difficult. Um, do I have an escape route here? I trap myself. Shit. I don't think I even have any potions right now. Um, fortify Magica is no use to me, really. Yeah, we're basically fucked. Maybe I just can't do this quest right now. We will. I guess I'll try again. Let's see where they are. Maybe I can get one on our own somehow. They're now. Nah, they're, they're they're together, aren't they? Let's try get them from here. Let's see if it, they're both getting attacks in. Now. Uh, I need a new strategy. Maybe... Maybe I, I, I can't even get out of it though, that's the thing. I don't have a lot of good potions right now. Uh, I'm not even looking in the right place, I'm not. 4 5 or 2, that might be a bit useful. I'm going to put that on my sword as well. Damage shrimp might have been more useful. Alright, let's try again. So, we really need to get them, uh, one of them on their own. Let's see if um, they move at all. Doesn't look like they move. So, I need to get them in a very narrow place, so. I could try and level up. Now they're literally not moving. Um, this here. Uh, I'm, I'm in a really bad spot here as well. Thing is, like, I'm trying to deal with one, and then some other guy's going to get an attack in. See, it's like two attacks at once. I cannot take. 
we might just have to. I don't know how we can fuck this quest off. Like, I literally cannot escape from this cave. Um, we just have to escape. We just have to run through. We can, I don't even know if I can get through. We definitely have to be high level for this. Or maybe get help from that guy. This is a, this is a new strategy. Get get that guy to do all our work for us. See if I can if I can jump on here, then I can I'm really safe and I can just heal. Yeah, now we're now we're getting it done. Nice! What's the uh, cutlass like? Is it doing any more damage? Nope. Wonder what that key's for though. Oh shit, I don't want to hit that guy. Nice. Bit of a cheeky strategy, but oh well. Now I have to kill the captain. Um, this is going to be even more difficult. I think you can talk to him first. You ain't one of me crew. What business you be having here, mate? What in blazes? You ain't one of me crew. Wait, one of my crew? You best start explaining yourself, mate, if you want to get off this. Justice? Haha! <laughs> I've been avoiding that all my life. You're pathetic. I thought you could make a deal with him or some kind of obviously not. <laughs> Shit. That's the best you can do. No kite room. We cannot kite. He does attack really fast, maybe I should only attack once before I block. Oh no. Come on, yes, nice. Captain's key. Is it open this? Nice. Oh shit, boy! Um, black that, that is a lot of money. I'm gonna take the cutlass as well, actually. Oh no, there's more! Fuck that, fuck that. We are, we are not tough enough. I'm literally... Nah, fuck that. I need to sleep, though. Do you think the mobs are actually outside? Maybe I can go back in them and sleep. Let's try that. No! Maybe not. Is it only one guy? Oh, I need le I need Lex. Oh shit, I hit him! There we go, that's gonna cost me 40 gold. Nice. Oh no, he seems to be... He seems to have shrugged it off, he's letting me off. Right, I need to um, I need to find some place to level up. Right, I found the bedroll, so I'm gonna level up here. First I'm gonna drain my mana, actually. Get those skills up. Let's see what we can increase this time. Hopefully it's intelligence. Nice. Uh, endurance, obviously. My personality, what have I been doing? Oh yeah, sold some shit. And speed free, we're gonna have that. But I would like to do more damage. 
but your damage increases as your blade skill increases, so I think we should be alright. Because my health is just like the health is reduced so much in this game. Everything is. Anyway, I think I'm going to conclude the episode there. I'm going to go into town, sell a load of things. Whoa, we can join the Thieves Guild if we wanted to now. Meh. Maybe another time. So, yeah, um, this is going to be the end of this, uh, today's episode. I haven't been talking a lot. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's because I'm just like really, really just tired out at the moment. I will answer more questions next episode, definitely, so don't worry about that. My name is the Metagoblin. Until my next video, ciao.